Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tammy. I own Walnut Creek Bath Boutique. Today I am making a soap that I will probably not be able to sell. <laughs> That's what I want to do. I want to make a soap and I have two strikes against it already, but I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> so here's the story. I ordered from Make Your Own uh, aloe and sage, sage and aloe, aloe sage, <laughs> one of those I think it's a bath and body work type. I don't know. Uh, I can't remember off the top of my head. Wild sage and aloe? Anyway, I make a sugar scrub with that that's pretty popular. So I ordered another um, eight ounce bottle and I received, and it was so funny, I just didn't even read it. I just opened the bottle. I'm thinking that is white chocolate decadence. <laughs> it was like, they sent me the wrong fragrance. So they're sending me the correct fragrance. They're making it right. Um, but my, I was talking to my husband. He goes, what are you going to do with that? I was like, I think I'll make a cupcake soap. And he said, uh, Tammy, your cupcake soap never sell. <laughs> and they don't. <laughs> they don't sell. I was like, yeah, and neither do sweet fragrances for me either. <laughs> Strike two. <laughs> I'm going to make cupcakes because, as my husband said, well, you really do enjoy making them, don't you? <laughs> yeah, I do. I have so much fun making I'm them. I'm going to make my base with this, and I'm going to color it dark. And then my frosting for the cupcake, I'm going to use my raw cocoa butter still, so it'll be... Um, chocolatey, but I'm also going to use my peppermint in that, and I'm not going to use this in my topping, if that makes sense. So I'm going to try that. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with the top of it just yet. Uh, so I thought about chocolate sprinkles, but I don't know. I don't know, guys. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to get around to that, to making soap sprinkles. Um, yeah probably won't do that so I'm not sure maybe just a gumball of sorts maybe a chocolate gumball um, on top that could be cute so yeah I'm gonna make cupcake soaps that I will have a hard time selling but I'm gonna have a whole lot of fun making okay let's make these cupcakes I have just a small 50 ounce uh, oil weight batch here they're both around 85 degrees um, it's been so long since I've made soap. It seems like that's all I did for two months straight. And it's been so long since I've made soap. And guys, I got a new stick blender. <laughs> I finally realized after, you know, a month of complaining about this thing that it was under warranty and I got a hold of the company and where's my top? And um, I had to send it in for repairs and they said if they couldn't repair it then they would just send me a new one and they sent me a new one. So I'm happy about that. It still won't attach very well. I mean, it's it's a very loose locking mechanism for this thing. Um, so this is the first time I'm using it. lovely and I'm sorry that I complained about my stick blender for so long <laughs> and it was under warranty and they made it right so I'm happy I'm gonna go ahead and split this off it's just basically emulsified but I am gonna go ahead and split off my base portion I'll be right back okay go ahead and get my fragrance oil in here and my mica. I'm just doing this the cheat way and I'm going to throw it in dry. Then 
this okay so I say these smells do not sell for me uh, the chocolatey the they're very foody sweet sell smells they really don't sell um, every once in a while I'll have somebody that really likes it but for the most part my my uh, my customers aren't into this but this smells really pretty good white chocolate decadence it really does smell pretty good and aren't these little flower cupcake holders cute this is what I usually use for cupcakes, but I have a couple of these just other silicone round ones in case I have more batter than I than I can fill, and I think I might actually have more batter than I need. So I may make a little few extra. I'm going to get this to be a little bit thicker, so I'm just going to let it stir, stir it here for a little while and bring it back when it's time to pour. All right, it's nice and thick. Um, so I, maybe two to three minutes is all I've been gone, but it's a perfect pour uh, consistency. I think we're ready. Gosh, it's probably been 25 minutes, maybe. And um, I've been cleaning. I started my cleaning down here. Uh, November and December is my deep cleaning time in my soap room. Um, I already have my fragrance oil in here, and I put a little TD in here, so it's it's nice and thick holding its shape fairly nicely. I am using like a 12 inch uh, piping bag because I tend to overwhelm myself. And I'm thinking, well, maybe, <laughs> maybe if I just use a smaller bag, I won't feel so overwhelmed with it. And I'm not gonna overfill it, I hope. Let's just stop there then, right? Let's not overfill it. It's still a little soft, actually. I'm testing it in the bowl. It's not supporting its own weight in the bowl. Let me show you. Um, when I just pipe it, and I pipe on top of it, it's starting to sink. So, in she goes. I'm going to be patient, guys. I'm going to try my hardest to be patient and keep stirring it and just wait until it's ready. So I will bring you back and I'll give it another five or ten minutes. Yeah, let's give it another five or ten. Okay, we're going to give her a go. I hope it's ready. So I'm only doing the first layer at this point because I don't know how much frosting I have. So once I get this first layer on, I'll be able to kind of gauge how high and how many layers I can go up. So that's why I'm doing just this first layer. And it's not easy to refill these, but I can get it to work. It still looks a little um, soft. Ooh. 
little dollop in the middle to help support it. It is not supporting its weight. Goodness, guys. I know I'm like the least patient person in the world, but my goodness, this has been a long time. And that's why you wear gloves. Um, I'm going to give it a few more minutes. Uh, it's, it's not supporting the weight. I could almost take this off and start over. And the only reason I'm doing, I'm not taking it all off, just these, just these ones where I did the second layer. <laughs> uh, okay, so here's the thing. Should I change my channel to The Adventures Of? <laughs> I think I maybe should. <laughs> Alright. I can fix that. I'm not worried about that. I'm going to let this sit up a bit. I'm trying really hard to be patient and do this to where it's not going to be just a sloppy mess. So, yeah. Too late? <laughs> Alright, guys. I'm going to run out of gloves before this is done. <sighs> We're going to try it again. I am a mess. I am a mess. It feels much better. It feels much better, guys. My bag is a mess. My gloves are a mess already. But my piping is much better. <laughs> All right, let's get some of this out of here. I almost got it too full again. Well, there's no almost about it. I got it too full again. Oops. And I have my SCI noodles that I colored. And I think I'm just going to sprinkle those. I do get carried away. Okay, that's enough. <sighs> I will bring you back in a few days when we unmold them. All right, it's been maybe two days, I think. Two and a half days. Let's just see if they're ready. I don't imagine these little sprinkles will stay on very well. Aww. They're still a little sticky. Let's see. Just kind of loosening them up all the way around. Try not to dent them. There we go.
you know? That uh, peppermint I used, I don't even know if I told you the scent. What What is it? I used Rustic Essentials uh, Peppermint Swizzle Stick or... I'm getting very, very little peppermint out of that top. Um, it actually smells more chocolatey than it does peppermint. The chocolate on bottom is not too bad. And it's not overpowering. I, I'm anxious to see what it smells like in a few weeks after they've cured. Um, to see if that scent holds. It's a, it's not overpowering. In the bottle, it's overpowering. Um, but I'm not sure about that peppermint. I guess it's a very, very light peppermint scent for this, for the frosting. There they are. I don't think it's, either fragrance oil is discoloring. I think they're really cute. It's been about a week, week and a half, maybe even two. Who knows? I can't remember. But here they are, all done. Let me find a decent one. <laughs> Let me find a halfway decent one. There they are. The sprinkles aren't staying on very well. <laughs> They're not staying on very well. Uh, you know, it's okay. It's okay. I, you know, I like making the cupcake soaps. I just wish they sold. <laughs> I just wish they would sell. All right, when I first made it, I didn't think that I was going to like the peppermint uh, frosting, but I really kind of do now. After it's mellowed out a little bit, I can smell the cocoa, the raw cocoa in there, and I can smell the peppermint, and it's a really nice, like this chocolate peppermint scent. I, I, I actually kind of like it now. I did not think I was going to like it when I first made it and first smelled it. I just, I, it wasn't there for me. Um, let me smell the bottom. Mmm. All right. This is a good chocolate scent, guys. What was this called again? Decadence? I don't even, I don't know. I'm so all over the place. <laughs> As usual. <laughs> that decadence. Um, I really, I really kind of like it. Now, is it going to sell? Mm, probably not, because the chocolate scents don't sell for me. Cupcake soaps don't sell for me. <laughs> so, you know, that was more for me. <laughs> more for me, just because I like doing them. Um, I was going to go purchase, like, the cupcake boxes. That's what I did the last time I made cupcake soaps. I actually had the cute little bakery boxes to put them in. And I even ran to Walmart, but they only had like a four pack of cupcake box, you know, a big one. Um, so I, I found these old plastic bags, which I've already tested, so it may look a little dirty. Um, I, I found these plastic bags. I've had these, gosh, guys, for years. And I just, I don't really want to use these plastic bags anymore. So what I did, and... Let me see if I can do it real quick. Hang on. Is I thought, well, you know, this may be just it. Because I'm not going to spend a lot of money in packaging on a product that I'm going to have trouble selling. I'm just not going to do it. Um, let me see. Hang on just a second. What do you think? I think that's going to be cute. I'm not doing it very tight because this still needs to... Um, cure um, so I'm going to unpack package this and take everything out but yeah I think I'll just do a little box is the lights glaring I'll do a little bag I'll put a little tag on here so be cupcake or whatnot yeah that's how I'm going to package them I think and that way I'm getting rid of bags that I don't use or want anymore and I am saving money on not having to buy those boxes. So, put that back on my tray. 
so it can continue to cure. That one may have to go away. I've already practiced twice with this bag. I don't know if that's going to make it another go. <laughs> Guys, thanks for watching this video. I uh, so much appreciate your time. And if you liked it, would you give me a thumbs up? If you didn't, you give me a thumbs down. And subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video.